A man who survived a flesh-eating bacteria is now out of the hospital. He was in the same hospital as Amy Copeland, who's still in critical condition battling the bacteria. Doctors released him over the weekend. New at 5, I talked to him about how he might have contracted the bacteria and how it changed his life. I'm in a lot of pain sitting here. I'm going to be honest with you, hurts. And watching Robert Vaughn, I could tell he was in a lot of pain. He was in the hospital for 21 days as the flesh-eating bacteria destroyed his upper leg and groin area. At first, the situation was grim. Oh, here's what we're looking at right now, death. You know, but also amputation. Just certain other things, colostomy bags, just things I don't want. As a father and as a husband, you know, you don't, you don't know how to take that. After a half dozen surgeries, doctors were able to remove the bacteria and leave his body intact. He still has no idea how he contracted the bacteria. Once again, it's better to have those surgeries than be dead. You know, but I don't know, the pains are pretty bad sometimes. Vaughn says his experience has helped him appreciate life. He wants to spend more time helping others in Cartersville, especially sick children. As long as I'm around, I'm going to do everything I can for these children in my community. As you saw, Vaughn is a landscaper, and they think he might have contracted the bacteria from a cut while working. Vaughn and Amy Copeland's hospital rooms were right next to each other for a while. He has a message for Amy that he wanted to share. We'll have that for you at 6. As Amy Copeland continues her fight at that Augusta hospital, many of her friends here are raising money to help with her recovery. This past weekend, two concerts were held, one in Carroll County, another in Athens. And on Monday, supporters raised $3,000 during a fundraiser at a Chick-fil-A in Snellville. A blood drive is planned for tomorrow at the University of West Georgia. On WSBTV.com, you can read much more about flesh-eating bacteria. You can find those details listed under Hot Topics on the homepage.